Hello, once again, welcome to Master Tips from Echo Board Review Forum. The topic here is important images in echocardiography. As we all know, a picture is worth a thousand words. See, if this image, if carefully looking at this image, you can well remember what this image is trying to tell us about the environments growing more plants which provides more oxygen to our human body because images are likely to remember more than words because our brains duly encodes images but encodes words only once so we'll start from the Doppler signals of the aortic valve. This is the continuous wave Doppler signal. The aortic valve. This is the aortic valve opening here. This is the aortic valve closing. And this is the Doppler signal of the aortic valve. Now we will start with the mild aortic stenosis where the peak velocity is attained very early. As a result, the signal which we get for the mild stenosis is just like a triangle because early peaking, short acceleration time and rapid acceleration. All these three things, early peaking, short acceleration time and early deceleration, give this image Doppler signal a triangular shape. Here also you can see the triangle of the mitral, mild mitral aortic stenosis. But in severe aortic stenosis, the signals are generally late, peak velocity is attained late, the acceleration time is quite large as compared to the mild aortic stenosis. The shape of the signal is tongue-like, rounded apex as compared to the mild aortic stenosis and slow deceleration. This all combined gives to a more rounded and tongue shape image to the aortic valve continuously with the upper signal. So in nutshell, the shape of the CW Doppler velocity is helpful in distinguishing the level and severity of the obstruction. With severe obstruction, the maximum velocity as I earlier told you, occur late in this clay and the curve is more rounded in shape. While mild, with mild obstruction, the peak is in early cis clay as here it is shown and the shape of the velocity curve is triangle. And if we see these two images, we can straight they say that this image A is mild aortic stenosis because it seems to be a triangle, early peaking and rapid acceleration though in image B this is the delay, uh, delay of the peaking of the velocity and the slow acceleration which gives a rounded shape apex to the continuous with Doppler signal of the severe aortic stenosis. After obstruction, uh, aortic stenosis, the dagger of the LVOT dynamic obstruction in hypertrophic cardio, obstructive cardiomyopathy is quite distinct, distinct with the late peaking of the velocity curve because of the subvalvular 
part mid alveoli cavity obstruction the late peaking results from the venturi effect which pulls the anteriorly flipped up the mitral valve into the alveoli and this results into the late peaking of the alveoli signal in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and another distinct doppler signal which can and we should diagnose at a glance is the macross while doing the cw doppler of the descending aorta in substernal window this diastolic run off this diastolic run off is very important because this is consistent with the pressure gradient throughout diastole and this indicates that this is a severe coaptation of aorta so friends images in echocardiography sometime leave a lasting impression on your mind and if we know this if we sense have sensitized our mind to these images we can easily diagnose the pathology behind these signals this is the normal aortic valve signal this is the severe aortic stenosis this is the alveot dynamic alveot obstruction and this is the what with diastolic run off as shown there so to sum up every image in echocardiography has a story to tell develop a habit to see if image is corresponding to your thought process aortic stenosis hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy in co-optation have and leave a telltale sign on their cw doppler signals and the thing is you just have to grab it you have to make your mind sensitive to existence of these diagnostic signals thank you very much